Hello everyone, it's Douglas C. Welch with another container garden update for A Gardener's Notebook. For more information, visit douglasewelch.com. You'll find links to A Gardener's Notebook as well as everything else I do. Well, today my timer came up on my computer, my calendar reminder, and said, hey, it's time to feed the containers. Well, you know what, this is all I got. Um, I have some um, uh, fertilizer on order, but it's going to take until the end of the month to get here. And frankly, I'm not going out anymore. I'm still self-isolating. So uh, we'll use our uh, plant sticks for now, give them something to feed on until that arrives. Now that said, I have had pretty good results with these uh, plant stakes. They uh, apply easily, obviously you just kind of shove them down on the soil. Uh, anywhere between four to six stakes, uh, depending on the size of the pot. Um, so certainly you know, these will carry these on for about another 30 days, and then we'll uh, hopefully by then have our regular supply of granular fertilizer that we can use both in here and also in the garden proper. I have quite a few containers scattered around the garden. This is a lovely geranium with these delicate uh, kind of flowers on it. It does tremendously well. I think my wife picked up a cutting of this that had broken off uh, a plant along our walk and it has just gone gangbusters. In fact, I have already started another cutting of this in one of the self-irrigating pots up front that I'll show you in just a little bit. Here's some yellow mums in this terracotta pot here, just kind of scattered about the garden. Uh, these guys are suffering a little bit from the heat. Now he looks pretty good, but the other day he looked quite sad and droopy uh, from the direct sun and the 95 degree heat we had. You have seen the epiphyllum pictures I posted a few days ago. Here's some more incipient buds getting ready to burst and the fertilizer will certainly help them to grow and flower. There are quite a few on there. There's at least three on this one. And I believe I saw, yeah, there's another one over there. So anything we can do to help along the flowers will be great. This is the uh, cutting of that geranium that I just showed you in the back there with the delicate leaves and it's taking off very well. Looks like it even might be going to flower in a little bit. Um, these are my self-irrigating containers I got. These are brand new. There are three of them hanging on this fence. They have a little reservoir down here at the bottom and then water wicks up from that reservoir, hoping to keep the pots uh, a little more hydrated. In our hot temperatures, it still requires almost daily watering. It tends to use that reservoir up very quickly, like most containers will, but it gives us a little bit of a buffer if we happen to miss a day. This is some nasturtium I grew from seed, and uh, the germination amount wasn't that great, but this one plant is doing very well, and I see today there's actually some flowers coming on. Again, this is in one of those self-irrigated uh, containers, and I'm hoping that these can uh, give us a benefit of growing some nice stuff here on the wall. This interesting plant is a porch eggplant. It gets little tiny eggplants on it. Uh, you can see here it's flowering quite well. This one was almost dead. Uh, I'm getting them in this type of self irrigating container. You might be able to see the fill hole here somewhere. Um, again, keeps the pot better irrigated. I've also stashed some basil cuttings in here too, and that one's taking off quite well. There were a couple others in here that didn't fare so well, but he looks like he's gonna give us a nice little food pot here with the eggplant and the basil together. Started doing our own thing here with the self-irrigating planter. Uh, this strawberry part wasn't uh, irrigating very well. The water was just falling all the way through. Uh, this pipe takes it down into the center of the pot where it leaches out through holes into the rest of the pot. I'm hoping this does a better job. And it was also, uh, watering from the top was also making all the soil <laughs> drain out through the various holes on the side where the strawberries grow. I have a few tiny little strawberries on there. Um, the squirrels tend to love them, so we don't often get huge uh, harvest from it, but it's nice having them around last geranium hanging basket here at the edge of the porch. Um, this plant, although probably very little exists the original plant, but this plant has been around since 23 years since he moved into this house. It was a housewarming present and I am very proud that we have kept it alive <laughs> all these years, even though I'm sure it's replaced itself many times over uh, simply by growing more and more and more. Still, it's a great thing to have at the end of the porch. It kind of turns in the wind here and I really like it. So that's our little job uh, finished out here in the garden today. I guess quarantine is good for something. Uh, we hope you come back and watch us in the future. Again, visit DouglasCWatch.com for more information about everything that I do.